As a podiatrist specialising in biomechanics, which is how the human body walks and moves on a daily basis, I've learned to understand how important the human foot is. We take between five to 8,000 footsteps per day on a very small unit which contains 26 to 28 bones per foot. And the foot is the sole interface between the ground and us. So it is important that our foot is working correctly to prevent many of these common aches and pains that we do suffer from every day. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about the walking cycle, or what I call the gait cycle. Now the gait cycle consists of two parts. The stance phase of gait, which is when your foot is on the ground, and the swing phase of gait, when your leg is in the air. Now this stance phase of gait can be broken into three main sections. Firstly, there's the contact phase where your heel strikes the ground, generally on the outer side of your heel. Then your foot quickly moves into the mid stance of gait when your foot becomes flat on the ground. Last but not least, your body prepares itself to move into the propulsive phase of gait, and this is when your heel leaves the ground and your foot goes into the toe-off phase of gait. And this is what we call the gait cycle, or in more simple terms, the walking cycle. Now what I want to do is focus on a specific part of the gait cycle. Now this occurs just after the foot has hit the ground on the outer side and it starts to roll in to meet the ground. We see a motion that professionally we call pronation. Excess pronation has been linked to many of the common aches and pains we suffer from. For example, heel pain and knee pain.